Hello, welcome to today's video. Um, one of the holy grails, if you will, that I've had with iRacing is to have triple screens using G Sync without surround while racing and streaming and recording. I've done a lot of research and trial and error and changing of settings, and I've had very inconsistent results trying to reach that goal. So what you're about to see is not really scripted, but it's the process I went through today to ultimately find a solution to the streaming and recording part. The fix might surprise you, so stick around. And I've got my view set correctly. Are you kidding me? Just starting a recording here. OBS is up. OBS is up, and I've got variable refresh rate running, G Sync working. Over here, I see there's the G Sync there, although you probably can't really see it. Let's see if I can get this camera to speed it up. You can kind of see the faintness. G sync there in the corner. A little green. Let me move this up to <clears throat> right. So you can see it's you know variable rate here. Uh, you would if, if I had moved this up and actually let me do it. And you can see now tracking pretty much with the frame rate. Okay. All right, let me uh, get in the car real quick. Okay, so you can see in the car. Just running the GT4 here, nothing spectacular. I don't know, I'm just driving around, but I'm also watching rear camera just to see how choppy it is. You can see it's 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 a little choppy when you're looking at the screens from outside. You can see as the scene scrolls across, it's a little choppy. But if you look just in game, it looks pretty smooth. And I tell you, it's, it's smooth. On my, what I see is very smooth. I'm not noticing any chop. So I'm just curious how the recording is going to show this. I'm going to switch back to the rear shoulder cam here. We'll go through Sunset Bend. Finish our lap. You'll notice the frame rates are staying pretty dang close. Ooh. That hurt. Oh, yeah, that's broken. So, anyway, you should be able to see, right? It's pretty close within a, a frame or two, really. Uh, I've got this kind of minimum settings on OBS. You can see OBS running up here. Uh, I don't have very high settings as far as the recording. I think I left them all at default for the moment. So I'm going to look at this recording, see if it's choppy. That's uh, I've looked at OBS and, uh, or I should say, I've, I've done asked some questions on the OBS forums and they pretty much came back and said, you know, hey, if you're, if you got a variable, you know, refresh rate, uh, OBS is recording at a fixed, so if you've got the variable, it's going to look very choppy in your recordings or stream, I suppose. So I'm just doing this quick test while this is apparently working. Uh, I, I just I still don't understand it. I don't know what's different <laughs> or what's going on, but 
uh, I just turned on the rig and, you know, here's what I got. So I decided to do some recording real quick uh, while I had this going. But yeah, I'm going to go stop the recording here and take a quick look at it and see if it is, in fact, choppy at all. So I had a chance to take a look at the recording. It looks pretty, <laughs> it looks pretty smooth. Uh, I didn't see any issues with it. Like I did have my my um, bit rate turned down. It's just at the standard 2500. So, or I should say default 2500. It, so it, the, the picture didn't look as clear. Okay. Uh, but everything is working. Let me click down here. Uh, you can see it's still working. It, I, I, I don't know. I don't know why it's working. I've got three triple screens, All right? Let me hang on. I've got three screens, all with the variable refresh rate on the OSD. This one I've turned off so you can see the G-Sync symbol behind it. Right? So while it's on this one, hang on. If I can get it before it goes away. You can see the G-Sync is running. Uh, it doesn't show on every screen. It only shows on the far right screen, but it is in the corner. If I turn on the OSD for the frame or for the refresh rate, you would see the refresh rate covering it, and it's kind of hard to see the G-Sync. So, uh, but that's so that's why on that screen I turned it off. But it is working on that screen as well. Uh, there's really no issues there. My fourth monitor, the one that's up here, right? This is. It, it, this is not a, a G-Sync monitor that I have up there. It's it's 60 hertz. It's just, you know, 27 inch, 1080p, like these are. It, but it just doesn't do G-Sync. And everything is still working. Of course, when I click out of the SIM, you can see, it. you know, the OSD, uh, the, the refresh rates doesn't sync anymore. And G-Sync indicator does go away. You really can't see it, but you'll have to trust me on that. Otherwise, I got to move the camera again. But if, as soon as I click back in game or in sim here, boom, it's working. And the G-Sync uh, symbol is back. G-Sync indicator is back. So G-Sync is working across the three screens. At the moment, it is working with OBS. But what I'm afraid of <laughs> is as soon as I shut this all down and restart my computer, it's going to break it. That's what has happened for the last week that I've been messing with this and, and prior, you know, attempts at getting this work in. Uh, but this is one of the first attempts that I've uh, really kind of dug into it and spent some quality time, if you will, trying to get this to work or find out what settings somewhere in all of my settings would make this work. So what I'm going to do next is do that restart, right? I'm going to restart first, see if that works. Uh, then I'm going to shut down and start from scratch and see if that does anything. Okay. But obviously I can't have all this running while I do that. So I'm going to shut down this, you know, this particular recording, I'll shut down the SIM, I'll shut down OBS. And I'll do the Windows uh, restart, see what happens. Uh, and then I will also try the Windows shutdown and reboot from scratch and see what that gets us, right? Uh, so hang out, hang out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm um, back from the restart, and G-Sync is broke. So like has happened every other time before, you can see my... FPS and refresh rate are no longer in sync. I can click in the SIM, not working at all. Click in the OBS, not working at all, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I will tell you that as soon as I shut down OBS, nine times out of 10, this starts working again. So, it, and this has been the problem, right? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I haven't figured out the formula code on what that combination is. If OBS isn't running, I can have triple screens running in iRacing in windowed borderless mode 100% of the time. That I've accomplished. But what I haven't accomplished is being able to have it consistently work with OBS running. 
And that's what I'm trying to get to. And there's everybody in OBS land says it's not going to work yet. I just recorded a video that proved it works. So I'd, I'm not sure what the issue is. I, I got a few things I'm going to try. So let me try those and then I'll come back and let you know what I find out. I don't want to, I don't want to waste your time just watching a bunch of videos as I go through all these each step, but I will document each step. And then once I've done each of those things, I come back, I'll tell you the re what I did and what the results were. So we'll see you in a short. Okay, um, so here's where I'm at. Um, I'm making this recording on a different program that is not OBS. It's another program, streaming program, recording program called Prism Live Studio. And so I, I've, I tried OBS and it still broke G-Sync. So I decided to give this one a shot. I had seen some references to it. I did a search this morning and, and kind of looked it up and, and got an idea. And when, you, when I open it up, and you can see it's up here now, uh, funny, funny enough, it looks pretty close to uh, OBS, <laughs> it really does. It's just, yeah, it just looks pretty close to OBS. It's, it's, it's kind of funny, um, at least in the layout of the program. But anyway, it's, uh, you can see right now, my frames are, are, or my refresh rate is locked. But once I click in the sim, it's working while I'm recording. Whereas OBS, that part broke after the restart. I, I, I just, I, I, I just don't know. I'm just not sure why OBS breaks this part, whereas apparently Prism Live does not. Uh, so I, I'm going to try a few more things, uh, specifically on OBS. Uh, I'm going to compare some settings between what came up as a default for Prism as opposed to what I currently have in OBS as maybe a possibility as to why it's working on Prism and broken in OBS. But ultimately, if Prism is going to work and the layout is very, very similar to OBS, just looking at the screen up here, uh, I'm just going to start using Prism, right? It has capabilities looking at the interface to stream to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, uh, a couple others I've never even heard of. Uh, things like that. So it, it, it supports scenes and sources and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of curious about is is my stream deck will work with it. I'll find out. But um, uh, yeah, I, I just this is just very very weird to me that this program called Prism is working, whereas. OBS would not would not do this <laughs> at all. It did initially, but like I said, after the reboot, after a restart, I should say, it broke it. It would not work at all while OBS was running. So uh, I've got a couple other tests I want to do. Again, I'll do those off off camera, and uh, I'll come back either on Prism or OBS <laughs> and let you know what I find. So stick around. Okay, so here's where I'm at. Uh, I did some testing, it's a little later in the evening. I uh, did a bunch of testing, did some comparison between uh, OBS and Prism Live Studio. And there were no differences in any of the settings. If there were, I made them the same. Prism still works, OBS does not. Uh, the one thing I did notice is the location of where the programs are installed. So OBS installs itself on the C drive under program files, whereas uh, Prism installs itself under the user, app data, local, so on and so forth down the line. 
So I'm not sure if that makes a difference. Um, but in my testing, everything within the settings of both applications was the same in Coder, all this, all those settings for, for streaming, video, and recording were all the same. And nothing I've ever done with OBS made this work the way it is right now. All right, so if I put this up, you can see, oops. Uh, you know, we've got the variable rate and it is happening on all three and the G-Sync is over there on the corner, right? Um, so none of that's working in OBS, but it's working now using uh, Prism. So I'm going with Prism. From what I've done, the little bit of looking I've done so far, the, my stream deck works with Prism. My uh, well, there's another, oh, the vertical plugin that Adam created for OBS works just fine in uh, Prism because it's that's it right here. You can kind of see the bottom of it right there, okay? But anyway, that part's all working. So far, I haven't been able to get Stream Elements or Stream Elements Live to work, but that's okay. I don't know that there's really anything there that I used. Uh, browser plugins work, camera plugins. I've got some basic setups. That's why the mic sounds kind of crappy right now because I am using Prism at the moment and I haven't adjusted or applied filters or any of that stuff like I did with OBS. Uh, I can export stuff from OBS and it appears that I can import it into Prism Live. So this gives me what I want, okay? So let me switch cameras here real quick. Prism Live gives me what I want. Stinger Transition, that's another thing that works in uh, Prism. I just haven't enabled it yet. Uh, Prism Live gives me what I want. I'm, I'm able to have triple screens with G-Sync enabled while recording or streaming. And that's what I was always, been, that's what I've been after. That's, that's been my holy grail. That's been my great white whale. <laughs> and, and here I've got it. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. This is just the beginning, okay? I just wanted to prove that this can work. I'm gonna go, once I have Prism set up the way I, I, I normally do with OBS, with streaming and, and video recording and stuff like that, I'm going to create, make a video that has all, I, where I go through all my settings to make all this work. Uh, my, my iRacing settings, my Windows settings, my Nvidia settings, uh, and other things like that. Uh, I'll even do my Prism Live settings, right? The encoder I use and, and all my other settings. I'm going to go through all of that in another video so that hopefully that's going to help someone else uh, to do the same thing I've done. Windows borderless or windowed borderless uh, without surround uh, with G-Sync operational on triple screens, okay? So if you want to know when that video goes out, uh, please hit the notification. If you haven't done so already, subscribing always helps. And also, if you would put in the comments uh, any of the settings you're kind of looking for, right? Like I said, I'm gonna cover the basics. Windows display, NVIDIA settings, iRacing settings. Uh, and then I'll probably also cover my Prism settings as well because it is it does deal with streaming and recording, whereas OBS just doesn't work with this. So, uh, but let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see in the comments of this video so that when I go to make the other one, I'll, I'll, I'll have your input and hopefully I'll be able to incorporate it. So anyway, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sticking around to the end uh, and watching me go through all the, these testing iterations and options and as I went through and figured out what works for what I've been trying to accomplish. While you're here, please, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, hitting that notification so you know when that other video comes out here in the future. So in the meantime, until that next video, please live well, laugh often, and love always, and we'll see you next time. Take care.